and of course we'll be joined in the studio by Ola Dotuna Abiodun, Head Market Information System, Nigeria Commodity Exchange. Welcome to Weekend File. Thank you. Good thing it is no longer rumor that um, we are now uh, talking about um, the issues of um, you know, middle men in uh, our food um, uh, provision or production. Uh, in fact, it is even even commendable that the presidency has noted that emphatically and has always actually directed certain bodies including the nigerian commodity exchange to go headlong and tackle that situation because we cannot as a nation toll with food insecurity okay. now our question at this moment is that that directive came as far back as friday what has happened so far have these concerned bodies hit the ground running in that regard? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good thing the president himself has identified the challenges we're facing as far as food security is concerned. Uh, at the Nigeria Commodity Exchange, we have actually uh, started our own bits of the uh, bargain. Uh, but importantly, we need to understand the reasons why these uh, merchants are making a kill of the common uh, masses of Nigeria. The reason is because the, the, the opportunity for the farmers to have access to a warehouse receipt system is not there. Or probably we can say that the farmers don't have the knowledge there is information asymmetry. They don't have the knowledge that there is a well receipt system that can be of help to them. How does this system work? It works by the fact that if a farmer produces his commodities, there is an accredited warehouse where the commodities received and quality parameters are determined and a warehouse receipt is issued to the farmer. The warehouse receipt can be taken uh, to a bank for bank facility. You see, the, the challenge of the farmer is he needs the cash almost immediately. And these middlemen, they have the cash to be able to buy and even uh, shortchange the farmers. But when the farmers are aware that they can take this commodity to accredited warehouses, they can get the warehouse receipt, they can use the warehouse receipt to obtain bank facility, this problem is going to be solved. So, and when, whenever they now want to sell the commodity, they are afraid to sell the commodity, and the bank that has advanced the loan to them will recoup his investment and the balance would be given to the farmer. You see, it's very important also for us to understand that government needs to really go a step further. If possible, let's have an executive order tied to the pronouncement of Mr. President on October 1, especially with regards to tackling these uh, challenges that we're having in our hands, the food security challenges. Look at the inflation, food inflation figures released by uh, uh, MBS, uh, National Bureau of Statistics. If you compare 2020 August figure to August 2021, you discover that in 2020, the figure is 16%. While in 2020, August is 20.3 percent. However, if you look at it from January to August of 2021, you discover that there has, there has been a slight, a marginal decrease in the food uh, inflation figures. And hopefully, with the new average that is around now, we expect that the food inflation figures would. Uh, go, go down. So uh, we are advocating and we are also asking the relevant authorities to uh, ensure the National Assembly also inclusive that an executive order is in place. An executive order is tied to the pronouncement of Mr. President so that we can once and for all tackle this problem. The US receipt system is going to help to be able to curb the excesses of this middleman. With that in place, there will not be need for any farmer to sell to a middleman that is going to make a killing for whatever activity they are carrying out. So, uh, uh, information is going to be made available to farmers. They will be aware of what the present commodity price is because we have a robust market information system at the Nigeria Commodity Exchange. We are 
we regularly on a weekly basis shun out prices of commodities so farmer knows what the price is so nobody is coming to shit him all right um you just say that those information uh, will be made available to these farmers that we're talking about how soon yeah uh it's what we're doing presently uh if you go to our website www.scs.com.ng you will find the prices weekly prices of commodity markets by markets so when farmers are aware of this and of course we are still going to take it a step a much higher by going to media houses especially the radio uh, stations to be able to broadcast this information so that the the man that has a transistor radio right in the uh, farm in the bush can have access to this information because maybe probably not everybody has access to the internet yeah, facility. media outreach you're talking yeah, exactly about. Right, okay exactly all right we'll talk some more um a lot of tuna you're watching we can file return to our guest on the program tonight a lot of tuna head market information system nigeria commodity exchange of course we are discussing this all important national issue everyone is indeed uh, concerned about it because food is really important to any nation in fact in nigeria uh, the agricultural sector has contributed immensely you know to the nation's drive uh, for non-oil um, uh, revenue uh, but, but you know but then um one would also say maybe greed and uh, corruption uh, are part of these uh, issues of um, economic sabotage to us and that is why many people will also be happy to know that the national assembly is part of the groups of bodies you know directed by the presidency to work out a solution to this entire matter where do we go from here are we looking at it from the point of law are we looking at it from the point of you know appealing to conscience or are we just looking at it you know to do um it as practically as ever yeah i i think it's very important for us to have an executive order executive order that will uh, give some kind of mandation uh for anybody that is going to buy some uh quantities of commodities uh, for example if you talk of the staple commodities the staple food the maize the sorghum and all of that let's have that executive order to stipulate that if you are buying in excess of five tons buy it through the exchange and if it is for export commodities like cocoa cashew or sesame seed if you are buying up to one ton and above buy through the exchange you see the issue of profiteering will be cut off because the exchange is guided by rules and regulation and uh you cannot just do as you wish uh the, the there's a mechanism for price discovery the exchange thrives on price discovery quite all right but there's a mechanism a mechanism for that so if you are going outside a particular band the system is going to flag you and necessary action will be taken so if you have that it's going to go a long way in helping us to tackle this issue in apart case, from addition the the issue of law yeah. there's also the need for us to have incentives okay the incentive is going to uh, be a, a sweetener to encourage people to come for example you're an exporter you want to export there's an incentive for you to have uh, export levy rebates if you yeah, aware of that you know that patronizing the exchange is going to be of help to you if you are an agro processing company uh excise duty uh, rebate you are going to have it if you source your raw material uh, in uh, input through the exchange is going to help you but this is going to be for a short while all right by the time the system stabilizes we can take off this we perfectly understand that the sooner this information uh made available to those in question the to happen now let's look at this um, uh, issue of rehabilitating the national food reserve agency yes. that's another big one yes uh you know the national food reserve agency they are sided with uh, 
the responsibility of strategic reserve uh, in case of food crisis like this, government intervenes to depress the price. However, there is need for transparency. Okay. The transparency can only happen on the exchange because the exchange thrives on transparency. When uh, the issue of issuing LPUs to procure or purchase grains or food items to the strategic reserve has to stop. Let there be a rule that any procurement to the strategic reserve must be done on the exchange. And when government is intervening also by releasing this food item to the public to depress the price in situations like this, it must be done through the exchange too. We have a platform for that on the exchange. We call it policy auction platform, which we always activate okay. to find right. solution to that well, issue. Well, thank you, Ola Dutuna Biodun, Head Market Information System, Nigeria Commodity Exchange, for coming on Weekend Fraud. Now, you've actually enlightened us on so many areas on this same matter, and we want to wish you and the other bodies luck as we fight this menace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Of course, you